They have fixed the front camera. She just downloads the Periscope app and then follows. She can look for um, look for camera. Okay. So welcome to uh, Huntingdonshire Business Network. Uh, we're in the library, or we're in the museum. We're in the Norris Museum in St Ives. Uh, so this is an informal meeting during our sum during our summer break. Uh, Chris Thomas, who's in charge of the uh, production, here is he's resetting the uh, the screen, has invited us to the Norris Museum, and we're down the uh, down the end. They've hidden us away from the public, and we've got our. Uh, this is our informal HBN meeting. So HBN is Huntingdonshire Business Network. And on the screen we've got Chris. Do you want to say hello, Chris? Hello. And we've hello, got, Chris. And we've got Luana. Hi, Luana. Hi, Luana. And uh, me as well. I'll come, I'll, come round, I'll come round in a second. So let's see if I can squeeze in. Yeah. We can do, but then uh, we won't be able to read the comments, will we? Yeah. Well, I can maybe sort of... Let's see how I can do this. <laughs> it's actually very cosy. We have a logistical challenge. Well, challenges are to be overcome, aren't they? There we go, that's me. Hi. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm the comment reader, so I hope you're going to enjoy this. I'm the biscuit tester today. Yeah, there we go. So I'll just sort of pop in and say hi. I'll point, I'll point to the people as we get as we get to them. Yeah. We're all midgets. <laughs> it's only Richard who is life size. Okay, so this is, this is uh, Winston Ives. We're in the Norris Museum in St. Ives. Uh, it's Huntington Business Network. It's... Uh, we have our meetings normally half past twelve to half past two every Friday. Uh, we're actually on break. At the, we're on break at the moment, so we're just meeting. In, we're just meeting informally at the uh, at the, uh, the the North Museum. And Chris is our Chris here is our host. So Chris, do you want to tell us a bit about what we're doing? Yeah, sorry about that. So I get distracted by <laughs> about where we are and what we're doing. Richard, are you under? Is it now Cam's hour? This will be fun for. No, 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 no. Okay. Just, uh, just on Periscope, look for Richard Wisher. Just look for Richard Wisher. Yeah. Yeah. So we're trying to make sure that uh, one of the other members wants to contact his wife because he's going to, re uh, his partner, because he's going to reveal some incriminating information <laughs> while meeting. <laughs> <laughs> now we're here at the Norris Museum, which is the Museum of Huntingdonshire. And the reason we've got a whole art exhibit here around us, we're in this old exhibition room. And these are actually pictures from one of the schools that are being exhibited. But I volunteer here, and we were having informal meetings. We've got some hearts there, Chris. So we're hoping. That's probably Richard. Probably <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, come yeah. up with the children. The children, I think the GCSE, aren't they? Yeah. So, um, fantastic. Uh, fantastic. It's amazing. It's amazing. What they're doing. So, so, you've got the app on, and it's not doing it. Mm -hmm. Oh, come, come sit down. Come sit come down. down. I'm going to go and sit. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to sort out the technology, so what have we got to? Uh, we definitely have the app. You have the app, good. What we don't know is how to find this broadcast. What, you, you downloaded it. Oh, yeah. Open it. Open the app. <laughs> 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 Which one does she want? There's no Periscope. one. Periscope. Periscope. And it looks like a. Yeah, it looks like a sign which has got a. It's a little blue circle. Yeah, so it's a little blue circle. 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 Just like that, it's a blue circle with a. It's a blue circle with a um, white oval and a round. Looks like a like, like an eye. Yeah, it, 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 the, the, the app symbol is a blue circle with a red dot in the middle, <laughs> and the white <laughs> ring and the red dot at the bottom. Of which the giant approaches. <laughs> and it's just called periscope. So this is the uh, HBN crew on the periscope. <laughs> Hope you're, hope you're enjoying this. It's a bit. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a bit of midsummer experimentation. It's, 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 what's the full title of it? It's, uh, it's just called Periscope. Uh, oh, HBN at the museum. Oh, the, no, 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 no. She's got the app. Hold on, I'm going to play. Is she on an iPhone? She's on an iPhone and an iPad. Okay, Luan. I'll tell you what. So we've got an audience that's waiting here. Luana, do you want to do you want to tell us about you and your business and what you do while Chris and uh, are. Okay. Um, well, my business is called Get Online, Get Found and Get Clients, and I work with uh, budget conscious non-techies who, what are you making signs for me? Speak up. <laughs> <laughs> I, how do you know that you can't hear me? Well, it's just that it's from distance, you've got to, oh, so okay. we're, we're a bit farther away. If, if I shout, I don't yeah. think that he is. Shout, 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 shout. Did you just do 
Well, it's really important, isn't it? That you, I, I do quite a lot of technical stuff, but when I start talking to people, the eyes sort of glaze over. You need somebody to be able to talk to them in their own language, don't you? And I, I use a system which means that you can have sites uploaded and ready to go with landing pages, opt-ins, etc. But you still have the benefit of adapting it to your own personal style at a later stage. Um, and it means then you can have all your advertising actually bring you results because one thing leads to another, everything is connected to itself. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, do you, want, do you want to have a go now? Uh, uh, I, uh, my name is Chris Thomas. My company is Milton Contact Limited, and we help local authors who want to publish their books. So we've published up to 23 books so far, uh, and we help you write from the initial manuscript through to getting it formatted and prepared into a beautiful book that you would be happy to have on any bookshelf. Uh, and the idea of that is that you can take these and you can copy them. You can sell them to your friends, to your relatives, or to your other business colleagues, perhaps for a course or training thing that you're uh, that you're doing. So how, how many books now, Chris? Uh, we've done about twenty-three. Uh, there's more because of course some of them are print versions and ebook versions. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a bit more than more than that. Excellent. There's some more probably three three different versions uh, of that. Okay. <laughs> give, give, give Chris a thumbs up. <laughs> now we're over to Nick. <laughs> I guess. Uh, Chris is Chris is broadcast live. Yep. Luana has listened live. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> I have listened live. Have you broadcast? No, no. I'm still debating. Um, dare I say the worth of it? <laughs> yeah. And to, to know how I would use yeah. it. Um, yeah. that, I think that's the that's the interesting thing is how would you actually use Periscope as part of your yeah. mm, part of your business? Yeah. I think the. Spontaneous live thing going on, mm. then that's the time that you want to do it. Yes. Whereas if you've got something where, like a Nets video, yeah. needed a lot yes. of preparation, yes. you can have, you can, uh, you want to have a more formal structure. But and it's amazing what people do on Facebook. I think Richard's idea of uh, then putting it on YouTube, and definitely mm. if I, when I do it, I will yeah. put it onto the website. Yeah, yes. It's just to make the most use of it. Yes, so. it is. Well, I think, I think what, the big thing for me is trying to get, get uh, I've been doing social media. 
social media is still, you write something mm. and then sometime later someone responds to it and you start a conversation going, and conversations are really good, but that's, it's quite slow, it's all in text, yeah. it's not really video. Mm -hmm. no. Video you can do, but it's all set piece, you know, doing this video for yeah. social media, you do the video and then you put it up on social media. Yeah. Actually doing this is almost instant. Mm. Choosing a Twitter style audience with that sort of level of engagement and that sort of speed of engagement, but you're doing it by video. So if you listen to someone several times and they listen to you, you get to know the people in the same way as we know each other in HBN. Yeah. I've now got friends on Periscope that I would never have had yeah. apart from, um, yeah. so it's the level of engagement has just gone up that notch. So it's actually disruptive yeah. and, and other social media platforms will have to respond to that. I think the thing, I, the thing I'm, well, what I'm hoping for actually is that Google is going to respond to it. Um, either that or the Periscope brings in the, uh, the wider lateral form. This, this works very nicely on the on the mobile phones. Yes. Mm -hmm. on, on the tablet. Um, but if you are watching it on Google, you'll see it in the landscape format with, with the narrow with the narrow okay. field. And I, I, as a photographer mm -hmm. and someone who does mm -hmm. video, yes. I'd like to see the the, the highest yeah. resolution come out. I think that'll come. Well, they they are they're playing with it actually. So, 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 about it. Was it the, uh, if you look at on your PC, if you look at periscope.tv mm -hmm. backslash couch mode. C O U C H M O D E. Mm -hmm. That will give you the global stream of scopes that are coming out, mm -hmm. and you can you can flick between them. But if someone goes lands goes landscape, mm -hmm. you'll see it full screen on your television. Mm -hmm. So they've actually done it, but they haven't made it public. They haven't mm -hmm. shown it public, or they haven't worked out how to combine the two landscape and form. Mm -hmm. and, and I think the other thing would be sorry. No, I was just going to say this kind of format as well for me, where there would be more than one person and some conversation yeah, I think that's, would that's be a saying. much uh, more interesting way for mm -hmm. me to do it yeah, yes. because then you could have lots of things bouncing off. You can have your little TV show, yeah, yes, yeah, exactly. you have your topics you and discuss and that, I think that would be interesting. Yeah. And that again is where the, um, the landscape format is going to be because mm -hmm. we've got the real crumbs. It's very crazy. Fortunately you watched this morning. <laughs> 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 Perhaps one of the other things to ask then is well, we normally talk about just things that happen to us during the week uh, and HBN or sort of issues that we've got right at the moment. But you've got an interesting project trying to do your house. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, 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 so where have you got with that? Well, I'll talk about disruption, business disruption. I've moved offices within the house again. This oh, right. Right. Yeah, so, so we the from the out, of, out of bedroom three and into the dining room temporarily while we're, while we're uh, uh -huh. separating the floor bit down in bedroom three, maybe probably an office and then mm. back again. Mm. Mm. So, uh, nice. Oh, she's she 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 well, she 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 watching us from the iPhone. Hi. Hello. Hello, Francis. Welcome to the HBN. Hello, Francis. Welcome to HBN. These are the strange people that he hangs out with on the Friday. Now, Nick, Nick was just about to tell us a really interesting story. story. <laughs> <laughs> so, Francis, I'll tell you that that is not true. <laughs> Indeed, I'm never going to move the office, which is yes, uh, causing chaos again. Yeah. But it's probably a good opportunity to a refresh my memory of what's in the Bible, and b current. So <laughs> you want to just accumulate paper. Oh, I said that earlier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Paper is the done bane so of my life, yeah. Yeah. and mm -hmm. I'm a terrible um, admin person. Yeah. Filing is an atrocious. It was one. Um, Really simple thing, 
but paper, newspaper. Right. So there's two newspapers locally that I look at. One's the Cambridge Evening News and the other one's Hunts Post. So the Hunts Post is now, on, you can go online, go mm -hmm. to their website, and you can sign up for the electronic edition. So you get the electronic edition downloaded to you. Okay. So you don't need to the paper one. So I threw the paper one away when it came in. And the message said, well, where's the paper? The paper. <laughs> It's gone. <laughs> that, oh, yeah, it's yeah, the 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 so I downloaded the electronic version for her. I've got set up on that. So now when she's on the bus, she can be reading the paper on a, on a tablet. Yeah. I still prefer the physical copies yeah. of and, certain things. And in Cambridge Evening yeah. News, which is the other one, it tells you at five o'clock that your paper is ready. <laughs> and then you can download the Cambridge Evening News and look through the Cambridge Evening News in the same way. So I don't need physical paper anymore. Do you know what Found an advert from Don Cross, mm -hmm. who's one of our members, yeah. in the paper. Yeah. Okay. Downloaded that page as a PDF yeah. and emailed it to her. So why just email the link? Well, I just didn't. That's it. 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 You can use the electronic version and you can modify and use it for your benefit. But it, it is it is this thing. I mean, I like to it's have more out of work. Yeah. I like to have the, the Kindle if I'm looking around or reading mm -hmm. something. Or if it's something that's not too important to read, it's actually easier to do on the Kindle and the story of fun up there. Um, but when I'm sitting down, I do like to have yeah. a magazine. Yeah. So I get the New Scientist magazine. I like to actually have that physical aspect of looking mm -hmm. through the, the ta it's a tactile. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely. Tactile thing. Yeah, so we saw something recently about the world's going back to tactile. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, people have had enough of the talk with the feminist form. Thank you. Like the Kindle from traveling, it's great yeah. because yeah. then you're not lugging yeah. books around. Yeah. Yeah. But if, if I were to think that my library would disappear, yeah. well, I'd like to trust it. I'd hate it. Yes. 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 I would know where to begin. Well, there's, a, there's a really interesting one. It made me think there's a, a guy on, online called Chris Marr mm -hmm. who I'd recommend. Digital content guy, mm. he's from Scotland, so it's one of my Kerry Scots. Yeah. And yeah. He was doing yeah. a late, he was doing a late night review of some and they them during the day. And yeah. he was just wanted to have a chat with people about it like we're doing now. Yeah. And his issue was that how do you deal with negative people? Mm -hmm. So how positive people, negative people, how do you deal with negative people? Yeah. So he was sitting in his office late at night, it's about eleven o'clock, he had Kerry Scots on, so he's got ten of us on listening to, to his yeah. problem. Put your hands yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he was analysing the problem. By looking at his bookshelf, right. Oh, right. So he was saying this this self help book <laughs> is quite interesting, right. and this one's quite interesting. Yeah. So he actually got about ten self help books about mm. how to deal with negative people onto onto the desk, mm. and he's asking people what he thought about yeah. that, yeah. and that fazed me a bit because I don't use books. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a library of self help books. <laughs> That's sacrilege. Yeah. Not having to but, but my wife, my wife is like that. She could, she could. Well, she'd like to have one or two books in the house, but she's not. Um, whereas I, I don't know. Oh, okay. yeah. To it. take a book and actually look for the yeah. thing, it's yeah. you know you might want to read a piece of it, and you almost know where it is. Yeah. There's something very. Well, he had, he had the whole index. Yeah. He had the content inside the books. Oh, is it? The index. Okay. So he's that sort of into his book, which is fine. I mean, that's good, but it's a different for different source for different. Yeah. Books. Yeah. Anybody want another tea or coffee? Oh, I so you have a tea. coffee with you know, black, black with sugar. sugar. You're mm -hmm. having a tea, white tea, with no sugar. Thank you. Yeah. Do you need help? No, I'm not with coffee. I'm totally it's okay to come along the round and have a look around. Oh, yeah. Just tell them they're going to be on TV. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> have to get their written permission Lord, to be on. But Chris, Chris Morris one was quite interesting. But he was even really phased by this. There was a, a guy on social media, you know, get these social media commentators. Oh, same. Um, he was an expert on Twitter and some other stuff. And he 
he was talking about Periscope, and he came up and he said, I don't like Periscope. Uh, and he did a big rant to his audience, which was a big, very big audience, saying that he didn't want like Periscope. And Chris, who had been following him, actually quite, quite liked some of his views, was quite shaken by this. So how do you, how do you, and he was thinking he's just being a bit negative. He could have been doing it purely to be controversial. Yeah, it could be. Um, and get a reaction, because as I said, you've got to have an enemy, and then you've got people on the side. So good marketing. But, but this, is, this is upset Chris. He, he got this on his mind that one of his one of his gurus in a particular street had, had said something contrary to. to um, I think with anything like that, it's, it's the whole point is everyone can have an opinion. They don't have to make it yours. <laughs> They're entitled to it. They yeah. can keep it. Um, and you should never let anything exterior affect you. I think that's always the thing. So you just have to. Even to if it's criticism, oh, look at the criticism. Oh. You can examine it a little. Take on board if it's, there's any truth in it. Well, I think this this was the thing for me that when you talk about how to deal with negative and positive people, yeah. I think you, I, it hadn't occurred to me as being an issue mm. because well, I surround yeah. myself with positive people. As well, I, I, I yes. make a choice. I don't mm. I don't engage that well with yeah. negative people, so I engage yeah. better yeah. with positive people. Sure. And you try and build that and surround yeah. yeah. yourself with those sort of. I just thought Kevin said the same as well. So negative and positive people, Chris. How do you deal with negative people? Well, oh, uh, avoid them if possible. <laughs> yes. it's, it's, it's interesting because um, I know in places where I've worked within, within companies, just having one negative person in there mm-hmm. can have such a dramatic impact. Yeah. Sucks the energy. I just think it's sucky as well. It's just brain. Now, now, there, 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 there are two, two aspects of that. There, there is obviously the situation where that person is. They've got a reason why they're, yeah. they're upset or they're, they're annoyed or uh-huh. they're not being managed properly. So you do need to address those issues and see whether there's anything behind that to uh, that you can uh, you can help with, and then you know, bring them bring them back to to you know a more balanced, uh, safe feeling within within work. But there are occasionally individuals where you just think their company is better without them, quite frankly. And it's a way of thinking. Yeah, I think things. that. I would like to see more done in schools to give youngsters coping skills. Yes. Because the, people don't realise that they have a choice. And especially the stresses that they're under. Yes, 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 definitely. Uh, and I think it's a way of thinking, and often people don't realise they can switch it. It's like having a garden, and they will you get people who will focus on every weed and miss every flower. And it's a habit. And it's a habit. That's it. And just training people to lift up their gaze. There is, uh, there, are things, there is a genetic component mm-hmm. in that some people uh, are more half this, half, uh, the glass is half empty, mm-hmm. and that people are that the glass is half, half full. Yes. And so there is a spectrum there. Um, but it is working within the. the Do you think it's the chicken and the egg syndrome here? Because your thoughts affect your chemicals and your chemicals affect your thoughts. They so it's figuring out which came first in that syndrome. Uh, no, no, Especially, I mean, I'm I'm a very positive person. Mm-hmm. I tend to see you know, everything in a very very positive light, mm-hmm. um, and I'm, you can you can adjust what, uh, people's responses to a certain thing, but there will be individuals that I know that will who will their tendency will be to react negatively and then then correct mm-hmm. positively, whereas I will react positively and then it might be corrected back negatively if something really mm-hmm. grim, <laughs> grim happens on the one. I think there's an issue about there's a, a thing that's it's not negative, but it's positive and it's critique. Mm. So mm. what's what actually quite good about HBN is mm. that if you come with an idea, you can you bring up an idea to yeah. be positively critiqued. Yes. Yeah. But that's not negative, that's actually yeah. positive. That's, yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. doing it in that positive. That, that way. Actually, that, that's that's a very valid point in terms of what you were mm. what you were saying. And at Toastmasters, which I was at, I was chairing actually the Toastmasters the evening on Wednesday. And the idea there is that you, um, you, for example, give a talk or a presentation, and then you have an evaluation. And the way that the real evaluation is given is that it looks at what is positive uh, about the talk that you've given, and then things that you could do next time around that would make it even better. Mm. So it's giving you, mm. it's giving you that critique, but in yes. a way that you can accept it. Yes. Because uh, I, I certainly, I don't know how you are, but I, I, I do react to criticism. <laughs> Isn't that the human nature? Nobody enjoys getting a bashing. 
Okay. And especially if you thought it was yeah. a really good idea and then somebody yeah. would take the legs out from under yeah. and say, oh, oh that's absolutely rubbish. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 that. And it's also, it, it doesn't help. Because right. you say with Toastmasters, if they actually give you things that you can do, like yeah. actual points from people mm -hmm. you know, you've got something to work with. Yeah. As opposed to yeah. just, oh, well, that's stupid. Yeah. I mean, where does anybody go from there? It's coaching. It's coaching. Yeah, so it's yes. yeah. 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 So yeah. places again, they'll go make the, uh, I think we're going to the ball by now. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want another drink, Richard? Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, there is a money spot. Do white coffee? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
and then I'll go put that on LinkedIn and Google Plus. Okay, so do you have to see what these comments are? But can you go closer? If I haven't got my glasses, it won't happen. My nose is too screen. No, it's gone by it's now. Gone. It's gone. So I can now read comments. I'm nice and close. So we have. We had some hearts. Did we? Oh, look, we did have some hearts. Oh, did you see four? Oh, we got some more. We got some more. <laughs> <laughs> Good. There is Excellent. somebody out there. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Anyway, shall we? Shall we? Shall we bring it to a close now? I think we probably. Why? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good. Someone just about to be measured for a suit. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's actually from the stone sarcophagus outside. We need a new residence, don't we? Yeah, right. I can get signed copies of them. Normally, they're five or five, but I can get signed copies from yours for six quid. Are you yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Chris. Get promotion on you first. All right. Mm-hmm. So, so, we're in the Norris Museum, and I, I ran an exhibition for the Norris Museum on mammoths. And as part of the research, I wrote the book called Marvelous Mammoths. Mm-hmm. Marvelous Mammoths by Chris Thomas. I think that was a good patch cover. I hope it was useful for you people watching. As I say, we're going to uh, take it up and put it on YouTube and put it out on LinkedIn, Google Plus. On LinkedIn, you'll see it on the Hunting Digital Business Network uh, LinkedIn group. Okay? I'd like to have a daytime slot. <laughs> and and, 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 and Laura, who's our, our, our Facebook expert, might put that on Facebook as well. <laughs> I'm not a Facebook expert. Are you more than I am. Yeah, there we are. Good, okay. So thanks very much. Thanks for listening. Hope you have a, a pleasant wow. rest of the day. Thanks.